Hey everyone. So today this video is going to be a works haul. Um, the works for anybody who isn't in the know is a discount bookshop and it's sort of a little bit impossible to find anything you're looking for in the actual shop because nothing seems to be in order. Well in my local one it isn't anyway. Um, so I just find, find it a lot easier to order stuff from online. So my order came today and there's quite a lot of stuff. So yeah, let's start off with this. I know this camera keeps bobbing up and down and I really, really don't know why. It's annoying the hell out of me. I will try and work it out. I forgot to try and work it out the other day. It's not face detection because I've already got that turned off. Anyway, yeah. And uh, this little Hello Kitty picture is framed and everything. I got a plastic thing. Uh, this was 99 pence. <laughs> So you can't go wrong for 99 pence for a little bit of Hello Kitty. It's a really nice design as well, so I like that. Um, I sort of went on a sort of crime book sort of spree. So I got Thick Villains, um, Stupid Criminals, um, Criminals so stupid they catch themselves. So it's like just a book about um, stupid criminals. <laughs> And there's like little drawings and everything in here to like talk it all through and yeah that looks like it's going to be quite a fun read so that's that one and then i got sex crime women this was like on the two for a pound thing and i thought that was a real good buy um i remember seeing this woman on a tv program and i just think it's it's weird but it looks like it's a gripping read so so yeah, so I got that one that was either 59 pence on its own or two for a pound, but I got two for a pound, but I'll show you the one that I got for the other half of the pound in a bit, because I was really, really pleased with it. Um, and then I got When Kids Kill, and um, we've all seen this horrible creature here, and this horrible creature, and yeah, just another one of the crime books. This one was in the two five three for five pounds one and I got two other books in that and yeah I went on a crime spree <laughs> so to speak and then I got selected poem poems of Oscar Wilde uh, this was 99p so I thought that was a really good price it's not a very thick book but you know got selected poems in there looks good 99p and then another one of the ones that I got for the three for five pounds is this one, which is Bleed For Me by Michael Robotham. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but yeah. It looks like a quite a good one. Yeah. This one's actually quite thick, so this might take a while to read. So yeah, got that one. And then I also bought Eclipse. Um, because it's the only one that I haven't um, like read yet or seen the film so this was in the two for five pounds as well and this is like a massively thick book and uh, this is supposed to be 9.99 and it's pretty good so yeah gotta love Twilight um, I also bought another one that was in the two for sorry three for five pounds sale thing but I bought it on its own so it was one ninety nine, and it's this one which is called Cowboy and Wills and this is a book about um, an autistic little boy who had trouble, I think this is what it's about, a little boy who had trouble like communicating with the world and stuff until his parents bought him this dog and the dog helped him like come out of his own little world and it just, I know that this story is going to make me cry so much. <laughs> Especially because it's a dog. I always, in a film, if a human dies, I'm pretty upset, but I can deal with it because it's, it's a film. If a dog dies in a film, I blub my eyes out forever. Seriously, I'm not even joking. I wish I was joking, but I'm really not. And yeah, I am legend. When I went to see that film at the cinema, I was like, as soon as I saw the dog, I was like, that dog's going to die and I'm going to blub my eyes out and know I am. And I spent the rest of the film just waiting for 
the dog to die and needless to say when the dog died I blubbed like a baby seriously so yeah any story about a dog it just makes me want to cry <laughs> on the theme of dogs I bought the dog um, this is by the artist collection you've probably seen some of their work before and this is just basically a book of cute photos of dogs this was one ninety nine. Look, I think this is like um, this style of photo taking is um, from Japan, and I just I just love it. <laughs> Tells you a little bit of information about the dogs and stuff, and then it's just this particular style of photo taking that I absolutely love. Let's find one that's a little bit better. It's like taken from above, so the dog looks like it's got like a massive head. I love it. I wonder if there's a Jack Russell in here. Let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> look at them! Look at this one! <laughs> That's the cutest thing ever! <laughs> oh my god, these are so adorable. It's gotta be a Jack Russell. Let's have a find of a Jack Russell. A Dalmatian. Ooh, look at that one. That's a long dog. <laughs> um, whip it. Shih Tzu. English Bulldog. I've probably gone past the Jack Russell. No, my luck. Boxer. Yorkshire Terrier. Oh, come on. There's a Jack Russell there. <laughs> so. Page 36, apparently, the Jack Russell. Oh, no! <laughs> They're so adorable! I love Jack Russell so much. <laughs> How adorable. This one, no, this one, looks just like Penny when she's asleep. Especially when she was a puppy. That looks just like her. I love Jack Russell's, they're the best dogs in the world. So yeah, that's the artist collection, The Dog. On the theme of dogs, this one was only 49 pence and I just thought it was quite funny. <laughs> Nodding dogs and vinyl roofs. <laughs> Talk about niche market. I just thought it looked really weird. So the, the weird world of quirky car accessories. So... <laughs> Yeah, it's. This looks like a book that if they rebranded it with Top Gear on it, it would sell loads. Because it's like. It's really random things that people have put on their cars. Like a snowplow. Like a Homer Simpson. Mr. Pal. So yeah, it's just really random stuff. So that was 49 pence. Should be 7 99 so yeah, it just looked funny, so that'll be funny to read. And then I picked up this, which is Dracula, and I was sort of drawn into this by the artwork on the front. I just thought that it was like really nice. I like gothic -y sort of artwork, and this certainly lives up to all expectations. I think this was, it was either one ninety nine or two ninety nine. I can't remember, but just flicking through this before I came on camera it's just the artwork in it is absolutely spectacular I love it it's all dark and gothic -y and it's beautiful I love it so yeah you get the idea it's it's got some beautiful 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 dark gothic -y artwork and then of course it's got like the story on this side uh, this should have been fifteen ninety nine apparently, but yeah, this was either one ninety nine or two ninety nine, so that's a really good buy as far as I'm concerned. And then we're coming to the end, don't worry. <laughs> then I got this one, which is the Formula One season review two thousand and seven, and yeah, this was one ninety nine, and I thought it was a bargain. So let's have a look at all the people on here, so I can point them out to you and squirm in joy. So we have Giancarlo Fisichella, my ultimate favourite. I love him. He's now retired but I adore him so much. 
Then over this side we have Nick Heidfeld, who is beautiful. Love him. And then, yeah, it's just got all the other drivers on there as well. But, yeah, if you're not a Formula 1 fan, this won't be interesting to you at all. But if you are, you know, it's got all the information. Let's find the pages for Nick Heidfeld and Giancarlo, shall we? <laughs> So we have Giancarlo Fisichella. <laughs> and then where's Nick? Oh, Nick's got a, like, a big page for himself because he's so great. <laughs> Anyone who's seen The Notebook and um, has seen Ryan Gosling, I think his name is, anyone who's seen him in that film, basically Nick Heidfeld looks exactly the same as him. <laughs> Which is why part of the reason why I love Notebook so much. But yeah, that's the season review 2007. I'll put that there. And then finally, this is the other book that I got in the two for a pound thing. Yes, the Formula One official review 2006. Yeah, <laughs> this was a, like 50p. I can't believe that. I think I already bought this book at some point, but I have no idea where it is. But, you know, I needed another book for my two for a pound so I thought I'd get it again because it's amazing so on this one where's Giancarlo? Giancarlo is up here and Nick is down here but he's minus his beard on this hmm. <laughs> I, I love him without his be with his beard without the beard is okay but I don't know I've just supported him for ages I don't care how he looks <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just exactly the same as the other book, apart from it's the 2006 season, um, which I believe Giancarlo won the first race. I believe it was this year. Let me find the right round. I'm pretty sure Giancarlo won. Am I correct? Am I correct? Where am I? Race winner, Giancarlo Physical. Yes. There he is. Down here looking nice with his trumpet. <laughs> and yeah, this is supposed to be 19.99. I got it in two for a pound. So yeah, that was a pretty heavy heavy package <laughs> when it arrived. So yeah, that's it. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Hope this video doesn't take too long to upload. And yeah. Follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. Adios!